Okay, so today I wanted to talk about um, how to brand your listings and put a branded photo and branded um, description or why you'd want to put a branded description and branded photos on your listings when you put them through KWLS syndication. As you probably know, KWLS um, allows you to have branded photos, which means with your picture or information on them, uh, name, brokerage, etc. And also your description may be branded. Um, you can add a lot of other additional information that you would not be able to add to the MLS because MLSs do not allow branded photos or branded descriptions. So just to show you why you might want to do this, I've pulled up uh, this property right here in Bonita Springs, which is for sale. If I'm a consumer and I'm looking at this property on Zillow, I can look through the pictures, view the description, and then when I'm interested in actually getting some information on this house, I'm probably going to call one of these agents right over here. Now these three agents that are listed over here are premier agents um, who are paying for the spot there um, and paying for the advertising on Zillow. However, if we scroll all the way down to find out who the actual listing agent on this property is, at the very bottom it tells us that this is actually a Keller Williams um, property by Glenn Brackett. If we go back up, we can see that Glenn Brackett is not listed as one of the people to um, get more information from. So what we're trying to do by putting a branded photo is to make it clear to the consumer who's on this website that none of these three agents over here on the right are the actual listing agent. Um, so, there is a very simple way to create branded photos online, and this was discussed at Family Reunion. Um, we're going to go to PickMonkey.com, so it's just PickMonkey.com. This is a free service, you don't actually have to sign in in order to use it, and we can create a branded photo very quickly using this, this program. So all we're going to do is edit a photo and I'm just going to choose a photo from my computer so we're gonna grab this Florida house photo alright these just show you the size of the photo so we're gonna go with King Kong so that it's a nice um, sized photo good quality alright so basically I have this photo now what I would suggest when you want to brand a photo is you at least brand the first photo and possibly the last one in your um, in your tour both in your visual tour um, through KWLS and also just in your KWLS listing so I have this picture I'm going to show you quickly how you can add some things to it the first thing I'm going to want to do is add on a little banner at the bottom so I'm going to click on this butterfly now you can choose either to add a geometric shape like a rectangle or a square. I'm going to go down and choose a banner. Alright, so I've picked a banner and I'm just going to choose this one. Now let's put this banner on my photo and all I have to do is drag it around until it's about the size that I want it. So I'm going to do something about like that. Now I could also change the color by using the slider. So I'm going to go to uh, a white color and then I'm going to fade it out a little bit so that we can still see through it. So I'm just sliding the fader bar a little bit. Okay. Alright, so once I have my banner on there, I want to add some text. So I can scroll through here and find um, whatever kind of font I want to use. I'm going to take this one. And we're going to click on Add Text to add the box. Alright, so we have a text box. I'm just going to type my name. Now you can change the color of the font if you want to. Whoops, if we select it and change the color, for example, if you wanted it to be something else. I'm going to leave it on black. You can also make it bold. Uh, certain fonts will go bold or it italics. All right. And we can change the size of the font by using the slider. Okay, so I'm going to do that and then just drag my text down to where I want it to be. So we have it right over the banner. All right, the second thing I'm going to add is probably a phone number. So I'm going to add another text box. And I'm just going to make this slightly smaller. and drag it down to where I want it to be. 
All right, there we go. Now you may also want to add um, an email address. Now if your text is not fitting into the box, all you have to do is just drag it out a little bit, drag the box out so that it's large enough. So there we go, we have an email address, and the last thing that I may want to add is my website. All right. So once I've decided where I want to put all of those and I can move them around, I can move my banner around, just click and drag. If you're having trouble selecting the text, if you want to move it, you may have to just slide your banner out of the way first in order to um, grab that, the actual uh, text box and then slide the banner back on down right where you want it. Okay, so um, a lot of agents like to add their pictures. If you wanted to do that, what we can do is go back to the butterfly. We'll go back all the way up to the top and I'm going to add my own picture. So just click on it, and now I need to find in my computer the picture of myself. Okay, it's going to open up the picture. We can put it right here, for example. If you want to make your picture larger, you can, or smaller. You can resize everything. Um, Alright, so uh, the next thing that I want to do is probably add a Keller Williams logo. If you want to do that, you can click on the butterfly, same thing, click on your own, and then find your KW logo. Now I would suggest um, using a PNG file for the logos because that means that they are transparent um, and they won't have a white or black background, but you don't have to. You can also use a JPEG. So I'm going to choose to use uh, this one right here. Okay, I have my logo and I'm just going to put my logo up here at the top and make it slightly larger. All right, there we go. So basically now we have a branded photo. It has Keller Williams on it, it has my picture, it has my name and my information. This way when I save this picture and I upload it to KWLS as the first picture of my um, picture set for this particular listing, when people see it on Zillow, as it will be the first picture, the first picture will alert the person that the listing agent is actually me and not any of these three people over here on the top right. So hopefully you're going to get more calls about your properties than you would if you had just put your um, put your listing on this way without a branded photo, and uh, people might, you know, click on one of these premier agents as opposed to calling you directly. Now, what you're going to do to do this is once you have it perfect and on this um, website, unless you actually paid to sign up. You can only save the photo as a JPEG, which means that you will not be able to come back in and change anything without starting over with a new photo. So just make sure that you have it correct as you want it, and then when you're ready, just click Save. I'm going to save it. It has three different file sizes. I'm going to save it as the Sean, which is a large file size, so that my picture will stay nice looking, but you can always save it smaller if you'd like. Um, and all I'm going to do is click on Save to my computer and choose a place where I'd like to save it, for example, on the desktop so it's easy to find. So I can change the name of this to Florida House 3 Branded, for example, so that I will know that that's the branded photo for later on. I'm just going to click on save and that photo will be saved for me. So what I suggest is when you are adding your pictures or adding your listings to KWLS that you go ahead and add a branded picture like this one as the first photo. If you'd like to go ahead and create a plain black background or another branded photo at the end 
or brand all of your photos. Um, that's up to you. <clears throat> the other thing that I would do is when you're adding your listing into KWLS, you can put branding in your description. So right at the beginning, for example, that you are the listing agent and give your information, your contact information, in case someone starts scrolling through the pictures and doesn't want to go all the way back to the beginning, they'll st still see your name and phone number and information here in this description. <clears throat>